My name is Margie Ellis. I'm a parishioner in Immaculate Conception Parish in Somerville, New Jersey, and I'm just in love with the Renew program, as are many parishioners of our parish. We've been doing it for about five years now. Our faith sharing groups were formed. We've been in existence for five years, as I said, and they have met, we have met twice every year. The core of those groups have remained the same, but when we started doing Longing for the Holy, so many other parishioners heard about it and wanted to join because of the enthusiasm and the seriousness of the people in the groups in explaining this program. And we've reached out to other people, and they too benefited so much, and we're reaching out to others. So it's very contagious. What we found particularly interesting in the Longing for the Holy program was it just stretched through all, through all the generations. So many people, especially senior citizens, said they're trying to enrich and deepen their prayer life, their spiritual life, and this was the answer. Young adults were saying they had to get started in doing something or just, just deepening their connection with God, and this was the answer. It really is an enriching program for all ages. One of the ways that it had the most personal impact was when we discussed and read about the Eucharist, both in our understanding, it deep, gave, gave us a deeper understanding of the Eucharist and how it impacts our lives and how we are to become the people we are to become having participated in the Eucharist. I think the program Longing for the Holy, above all the programs that we've done, has made us better parishioners, more involved in our parish life, feeling more of a, a sense of wanting to contribute, to share with other parishioners, feeling that we belonged. We were a large faith sharing group, if you will, as a parish. And that we've gotten through the Renew program, especially through Longing for the Holy.